Welcome back, beautiful beings. I wanted to do a white one. So we're doing white snow. And I'm just going to apply it all over this. That way we have a white one to go with everything. And I am putting it on quite thick to cover up the wood. And I have a tipped brush to apply it so it don't go down on the edges. Just make sure you get the bubbles out. These are laser cuts from the Dollar Tree. More bubbles. There'll be little bubbles when you apply it thick. I like the word magic. Magic. Magic when you daydream about what you want. Magic. Make sure you mix your paint up and shake it up really good if it's been sitting for a while. Because you might get a bunch of little clumps. If you don't, make sure you have a napkin by you to wipe off any clumps that form. More bubbles there. But I missed there. My bubbles there. I'm barely touching this, so it comes right off. Don't have to push hard at all. Too thick over here, so I'm just gonna take off the blending of the thickness. And of course, we're gonna have to put it down when we come to the bottom of the G. See why I don't push down, see how the wood's starting to come through. That's why I'm putting on thick. I'm barely pushing down. Alright, do the bottom of the G. Where I don't move too much. Just right now to hold it. Voila! when it dries. Okay, beautiful beings, it's dry. I'm going to take some large bodge. A good amount. I'm barely pressing because I don't want a big glop, but I want enough on my brush to keep going. And inside joke, the fan is not on today. <laughs> no glitter shower today. Barely pushing down because I don't want to lose the shape of a word. Make 
make sure we cover every bit of it. This way the white will go with anything if I want to use it on a journal or pocket. Probably front cover of a journal. How big your journal is. This would fit on a pocket too. Or just a notebook if you want to glue it on a notebook. And the front cover or the inside cover. Whatever you would like. I don't do much stuff in white, so I decided to go with white. Plus it'll go with every everything. If I don't do if I do a theme journal, it won't match. Or it will match, but it'll be white, so it'll go along, along with it. This would be good for a fairy journal. About fairies. I'll make sure. Right, none dripped off the side, so I want to make sure. And then just use your finger to hold it. Oh! <gasps> See that? I just covered that. So now we're going to take our toothpick, open that back up, like so. I may have to move that there. Yeah. I'm going to have to move it away from that spot. That is quite a lot. Take that off. Okay. There, we got her. We got her. Now I'm going to wipe that off because the oil will stick to it. I save all my envelopes. One of these times I'm going to show you how to make an envelope journal. Alright, we used Snow White paint. Now we're going to use Snow Glitter. I'm going to make sure I get the edges really good. This kind likes to clump because it's so fine. And the reason I put it on an envelope is what you're probably aware of. So after this dries, I can just scoop it right back into the container. I want to make sure those edges are really covered, so no waste here. I let this sit for at least 15 minutes and then I take it, move it, and then scoop the glitter back in the container. Just fold the envelope and slide it right down in there. Just take the lid off like so. You probably already know this, but I'm just showing you. Take your envelope, squeeze it, and then just whoosh, pour it down in there. And we'll be back when magic is Okay, beautiful beings, this is dry, but as you can see, I don't know, well, I thought that was one of those black things, but see the hairs sticking out around here? I kind of want to pull them out, they're like everywhere. I mean, I guess it don't look bad, but I don't even know if I can get them out of there. Yeah. Just wanted to get those little hairs out of there. The ones I can anyway. Because this is fragile right in that area for some reason. I guess it's too thin. The laser cut, the wig was too thin. Alright. Then we're going to there. It does look like there's something black there. With the now, see there is black. I don't know where that's coming from. Alright, anyway, we're going to get the Mod Podge. And we're going to cover it with Mod Podge before we do anything else to it. I want a 
lot on my brush. Nice and thick layer. You guys will be masters at this by the time you watch all these videos how to do this. You'll be masters at it. The reason I'm not touching it, I have my finger holding against it. So don't move around because I don't want the glitter to come off on my finger because it will. I'm going to keep all the glitter that glued down on there as good and thick as it is. Did that even make any sense? <laughs> it's just layered well, so I just don't want to risk it by picking it up. So I'm not going to touch it. It is dry, but I'm still not going to touch it because even when it's dry, you still have little bits that still fall off because that's what glitter does. If you've ever spilt a thing of glitter, <laughs> you will know all those little fine morsels go everywhere and you spend days or maybe even weeks later finding little specks of glitter or touching something that it fell on and then finding some on your face somewhere. Yes, that is my, has been my experience when working with glitter. <laughs> Dazzling. Then you go out somewhere and someone says, you got a little something shiny on your face. Oh, that's just glitter. Thanks. Right, we gotta be careful around this because we don't want to do what we did before. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We did not fill the hole in this time. It's perfect. We have to have sparkles of life here and there, right? With the good and the bad. Like more good dough than bad, huh? At least I would. I'm sure you all would too. Alright. We'll let that dry and we'll be back. Okay, beautiful beings. We got some beads. We got some stars. I did lay one on there. They will come out white. We got some pearls. Regular pearl beads, regular beads, stars, little tiny pearls, thank goodness, and some chunky. But we gotta make sure this color has pink on one side and white on the other. So we wanna make sure we flip it to the white side. And I just wanna add that one big bead, hopefully it looks right, to the eye. don't know how much blue I'm going to need, but of course they're all rolling towards me. I'm going to stick that right there in the eye. Hopefully that looks right. Or is it too big? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, that one's too wide. There's another one. I think it's flatter. I'm going to stick that over there so don't glue to the paper. We're going to use this one. I think it's flatter. That one looks better. Oh, there's enough glue. Yeah, okay, it didn't come back up. Then, what I'm going to do is put some glue over here. And these little tiny pearls, these ones, I got these, oh, there's fuzz, make sure there's no fuzz because they'll show up. So I'm going to put these ones in a thicker part, but I got these in a set. There's small and then medium ones and then large ones, pearls at Dollar Tree. 
say no. I got them. Put that one there. Right. I think that's no pearls. And then I wanted to put some beads in there. He's kind of an off-white. Let that work. I'm going to lay flat. Because... That one's not flat enough for me. Then we're going to take some... The white. Put it in between. Like so. And then we're going to stick some stars in there, too. Just to add a little bit more detail to the circle. And I'm running out of white. They're mixed. See, there's pink and white ones mixed. Make sure we do not use pink. And then there's, oh, I thought that was a hair bead. Or the chunky glitter. Chunky glitter. Chunky glitter is right here. I think I got it from Walmart. Comes in pink and white. And I think I'm gonna need to dump some more out because there's too many pink here. Not enough white ones, but maybe we'll get by. Let's see, I think there's two stuff. Yep, I think we're gonna get by. I think we're gonna get by. All right, get that done. I think I need one over there. Or I might have already had one there. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, I need one there. I put it in the wrong spot. Pink one off of here and get the white one. Stick it there. Right now, we're gonna get these little tiny pearls I got from Dollar Tree, I think. Pretty sure if we're not, it's Walmart. Peel some off. We're gonna make sure that glue that's stuck to does not come up with it. I'm gonna put pearls around where we just stuck the white ones. There. Right. Get this bead out of here. Get out of here, bead. We done with you. We use you some other time. Almost had enough. Almost. Now oh, maybe three. I might want one right there. I do. It just looks nice. So I need one more and one in there. Move that little jumbo glitter over. And I want one there. So one more and we're done with the pearls. So she puts it on upside down. That's right. All right. Now, if you can see, there's that black stuff there and there. So we're going to stick some stars on top of it to hide it. And we might add a couple stars in there and just stick them in there. Probably should do that with glue still. What? I'm going to put a star there. I'm going to put a star here. Put a star there, there, just to hide that.
pink. Ay, ay, ay. That is pink. Oh, most of them are showing up pink. It is because the light hits them. But see that yellow, pink? Unbelievable. Don't want pink. But most of those are hitting pink. I don't know. Now I probably don't have enough glue. I don't even remember where I took that off, do you guys? It was right there. Right here? Yeah. Alright. What do we got on here? Is that pink? Nope, it's yellow. Well, now you guys know if you buy it. It's mixed. Mixed stars. I'm pretty much done. I'll come back and show you when it's dry. Just wish that pink tint wasn't in there. I need another one down there. And there's... Is that yellow? Pink. I don't know. There. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm not doing no more. Okay, beautiful beings. Here's our word magic. Overall, I think it turned out. There's a hint of pink in there, but what can you do? I like it. Okay, this journal is for demonstration only. We're going to pretend this flap isn't here and it's just your journal or your notebook. Or even an address book. <laughs> Whatever you want to use. Take it like that. Glue it right there. Let's see if there's a pocket in here. You can take a page. That kind of goes with it. It's got the swirly from magic. Just glue it on a page you have in a book. But you might want to glue two pages together. So it's more sturger. Sturger sturdier <laughs> I got it out more sturdier I don't know if there's a pocket here it doesn't have to be on a pocket if we can't find one I need to start selling these yes I do alright so far I'm not finding one even what on that color too because it's white and it goes pretty much with anything just remember if you put it on pages glue two pages together it just makes it more sturdier all right that one's too long i don't have a pocket here that's going to be wide enough even this this is sturdy because i glued two pages together and then I glued this on one side of the page and this on the other side so that's really sturdy so that would work on that put it down at the bottom put it, put it up at the top and do whatever you want with it okay thank you for watching I appreciate you and have a magical everything <laughs>